Messiah, Majesty, Messiah, Majesty. Yeah. Every day, your praise will come from me, for your faithfulness was me. May Zion Majesty, every day, your praise will surely be a scene of joy for me, our Savior. Your praise will come from me, for your faithfulness towards me. May Zion majesty, every day, your praise will surely be a scene of joy for me. I love you, Lord. You don't sound happy. Say, I love you, Lord. Father in heaven, we thank you. We give you all the glory, all the honor, the power, the praise, all the majesty and the dominion. The maker of the heavens and the earth and the seas and everything that in them is, Lord, unto you are we gathered. Reveal secrets to us. May our hearts induct a good matter. And may we leave this class better than the way we came. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Champions, shout fire. fire. Shout Ororo. Ororo. Shout Muzozo. Ororo. Shout Mafura. Ororo. You don't sound happy at all. Shout Mafura. Ororo. Shout Onsio. Amen and amen. amen. I want to thank the person of the Holy Spirit for the privilege to be here. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And we want to thank our most holy father, Papa Joshua Igila. Say we love you, Papa. We love you, Papa. Amen and amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Amen. Yes. Amen and amen, amen. and amen. Okay. We've been looking at divination and the occult, yes, sir. Yes, sir. and and under that module, we've been looking at the different forms of divinations. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And some of you can check your notes. Maybe you can help us out by let us by letting us know the different forms of divinations. Graphology. We had already listed to you. The first one is what graphology. graphology. And we said it is what the analysis of the man's handwriting. Yes. And 
And those who are engaged in this practice are called what? Graphologists. And many of them seem to have a peculiar ability called what? Ex extrasensory perception. Extrasensory perception. E S P. All right. So, what's the next one again? We Geomancy. Geomancy. What did we say? Geomancy is the science, science of land, and this is really predominant in many cultures today particularly in Africa, but it started in the Middle East. Wow. Yes, sir. Because they have a lot of desert lands, yes. and they use dots. Yes. Even when you watch some movies, and you are dealing with trackers, yes. maybe someone has already gone, they want to pursue him. Yes, yes. sir. They pick trackers, and they tell them to track. Yes, yes. sir. Mm. And sometimes some of them, you may watch the movie and just say, oh, he's a good marksman. Mm -hmm. But typically many of them are into graphology. Mm -hmm. Ge Ge sorry, geomancy, yes. the science of land. And we said also too, and true geomancy, Many can claim ownerships of land. Uh, today, in Nigeria, you find a lot of people who oftentimes have land disputes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes. And sometimes, the one who never bought the land claims ownership of it. And yes, sometimes, sir. and the one who really bought the land cannot fight. Mm. Because he has been told, if you attempt to claim this land, even though you bought it, you might lose your life. And sometimes, some of the folks who may want to, through astral means, claim ownership of the land can go through geomancy. Yes, sir. But, um, like in Nigeria, one of the common knowledge that many have when it comes to fighting over land or dealing with land disputes is, in particular, those things happen in churches to when they say they bury the charm in the land. And in many a times they do really. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. But Jeez. what you need to understand is that the charm that was buried is not as powerful as the engagement of geomancy which does not require the burying of any charm. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The person can just yes. come to the land. Hey. And just do something there. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Make some dots. Yes, sir. And decide mm -hmm. to claim ownership. Mm. And this is where you find, even when the person now who really owns the land tries to even dig a foundation, he has even difficulty raising the blocks. Mm. Each time he attempts to build, He's always in a financial mm. problem. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So he's never able. Sometimes people can advise him, why don't you just sell the land? And at the end of the day, that was already what was decided through geomancy. Yes, wow. That he has to give the land away. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he sells the land, even at a giveaway price. Right. Or he may not need to sell the land. Ever since he bought that land, because of the science of land that was engaged in it, mm -hmm. he's been having maybe several attacks, even in his sleep, mm -hmm. different things. Mm -hmm. 
and such that he just has to back out and leave the land alone. Mm -hmm. So there are many. Yes, sir. But one of the common knowledge a lot of Christians know is the burying of charms. Yes, yes sir. Very yes. charms and all that. Yes, yes sir. Yes. But uh, I recall one of my cousins many years ago, before I came to America, bought a piece of land in a place called Badagri. Yes, sir. Yes, in, sir. Yes. In Lagos, towards Badagri, actually. But they called the place Badagri. Yes, sir. Mm. I've never been to Badagri before, but I have been to this place where he bought the land. And they all call the place Badagri, but it's close to Badagri. Yes, sir. That I know. Even though I've never been to Badagri. But they all call that enclave, that region, Badagri. Yes, anyway, so that was why I said Badagri. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But you know it's not Badagri. Yes, sir. <laughs> no, yes, sir. It's close, to close to it. So he bought this piece of land, and he's a soldier. A Nigerian, a soldier in the Nigerian army. Mm. So, and I was living with him in the barracks, but he, he had regards for the grace of God upon my life. Mm. So he said, Pastor, I just buy this land. He said it in Pigeon. I just bought this piece of land. And I'd like you to come and bless it for me. Actually, they were already digging the foundation, but I realized that I needed you to come and pray. You know, these people, you know, I hear stories, but I don't know. So maybe you can just help me. So I said, okay, fine. And then we rode on a bike. You know, he carried me on his bike. And, dra and rode over one hour towards the place. And we got there. And uh, I came out. I was wearing slippers and shirt, t-shirt actually, with jeans, or maybe pants actually. But when I got there, uh, I saw the builders. They were building. We got there around 6 p.m. in the evening. And I saw the builders. They were digging the foundation and all that. So, so he told them, this is my pastor. He's my brother, my cousin. So they say, yeah, welcome pastor. So he said, please, can you guys hold on? He wants to pray. I want him to pray. Anyway, when I got there, I saw an angel appear to me and said, this is what you will do. Then you will you'll know who the real enemy is. I said, there's an enemy already. And the guy is already digging the foundation. The angel smiled at me and said, do what I tell you to do. So, they had already dug the foundation, the four corners. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So he, the angel said, OK, go to the, the one in front of you to the right. So I went to the right corner. So I stood there. And he said, just face straight, look up. So I looked up and I prayed, blessed it. Then he now said, now nah, take the sand from where you stood. I was inside the foundation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She said, take the sand. So I took the sand from inside. They were all looking at me. Then the Lord said, walk diagonally straight. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. This was the foundation. Yes, sir. I was here. Yes, sir. So he said, walk diagonally yes, straight. Yes. So I came here. Yes, sir. Then he said, the sand you took from here, pour it here. So I poured it there. Then he now said, pack this sand now from here. So I packed the sand from here. So I brought sand from here. Yes, sir. Now, I didn't know. I've never done it before. He yes, just sir. told yes, me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I brought sand from here, yes, sir. from here to here. Yes, sir. Then I took sand from here. Yes, sir. He told me. Then when I got to the middle, he told me, stop. Then he said, turn left. So I turned left. So I came here. So he said, now pour that sand you took from here. So that means I took sand from here yes, to here. Yes. But this was how I moved. I didn't go this way. No, right. no, no, no. Yes, sir. I got to the center. Yes. Then he said, go this way. So I dropped the sand. Yes, sir. Then he said, pack the sand from here. Mm -hmm. So I picked the sand. He said, now come here, come to the center. So I came to the center. Then he said, drop the sand you picked from here, here. So he said, now take the sand from the center. I took another sand from the center. 
He said, come here. So I came here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's how I did it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then he now said, now nah, back to the middle. So I stood to the middle. Then he said, take the sand you took here. Come here. So I got to the middle. He said, don't drop it. The sand that I took from here. He said, now nah, throw it in the air. Wow. So I threw it in the air. I said, it will fall on me. He said, don't, it doesn't matter. The moment I did it, that's how one of the one of the builders, yes, sir. one of the yes, those yes, people, <coughs> yes, because there was yes, yes, yes. he did it so well. He had enough money to to call. While they were digging the foundation, they were molding the blocks. Yes. yes so one of the people digging the foundation, after he saw what I did, he dropped his instrument and said he's not doing it again. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I said, why? He said, no. He said, are you, are you sure you're a pastor? Uh. <laughs> I said, I'm a pastor. <laughs> well, that was what I said. He said, no, you are not a pastor. I said, truly, I'm not. I said, well, do you have a problem with it? He said, yes. How did you know exactly what to do? Jesus. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. I said, ah, what do you mean? My cousin was looking at him. What do you mean? He said, how did you know exactly what to do? Answer me. Yeah. I said, is there a problem? He said, there's a problem. I said, what's the problem? He said, how did you know exactly what to do? I said, the Lord told me. He said, which Lord? <laughs> which Lord told you? I said, Mr. Ma, it's not your house. He's my cousin. He said, oh, I'm not doing it again. Find another person. Ah, even my cousin was trying to apologize. And I said, no, leave him. He's not a good man. He's not a good person. The man walked away. He was shaking his head. How did you know? Even when he was starting his bike, how did you know what to do? That was all he kept saying. How did you know what to do? How did you know what to do? Oh even me, I didn't even know what I was doing. <laughs> I was just doing what the angel was yeah. telling me to yeah. do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, this was the first time I was ever going to pray. And it's been the only time I've ever prayed mm -hmm. to this day in, in, in a foundation of a building. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. There are, I've prayed for houses that have already been built. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But this was the first time. Yes, sir. Yes. And with ease, in no time, my cousin completed that house wow. with ease. Amen. Wow. Amen. Because he got another building. That one. Sure. And it was during raining season. And you know, sometimes to build a house during raining season. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And interestingly, where he went to even buy that place was close to his It was around a swampy area. Oh. Everything dried up. Wow. wow. Amen. Sure. Everything dried up. People were even amazed. How did you know? So which means whatever that builder was trying to do, yes, the angel of the Lord destroyed yes. it. Amen. Amen. But yes. I only prayed, the only time I prayed was here. Oh. After I finished, he said, now nah, pack the sand. He was just telling me, pack the sand, go and drop it there, take it. He <laughs> can't just see it's a zigzag movement. Yes. But this was how he wanted it to be yeah. done. Mm -hmm. So, uh, sometimes, yeah. well, the reason why we just told you this is not really part of what we're discussing, yes, but it's just to let you know that um, dealing with charms that are buried is for juniors. Yes, sir. Is mm. the junior level. Mm -hmm. There are places where you don't need charms to be buried. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The whole essence was that what we did was to destroy a cobweb. Yes. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. Anyway. What's the other one? Palm Don't worry. Tree. Don't worry about this one, all right? Don't let it bother you. You should say you want to learn it to go and do it. Like I said, there's no it's not something to learn. It's just to follow the leading of the spirit of God. Yes, I've never done it before. Do you understand? So if you ask me again, can you do the same thing? I can't do the same thing that I did for this, my cousin, for you because 
I may not know how the law may want. Do you understand? Yes, sir. May want me to pray for your life. You can just say, go and bless it. I'll just bless it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've, ha I've been invited to a family house here in America where I was told to come and pray. And the Lord just told me, go into this particular room. And it was, a, it was one particular room. I don't know why. I entered the room and the Lord just said, stay there and pray. And I prayed. He said, pour water on the wall. And I did. And he said, that's all. Wow. Just go. And the people said, how about the kitchen? How about? I said, don't worry. The Lord said, this is the room. And since then, everything changed. Wow. But there was something I did notice. When I poured water on the wall, the water immediately dried up on the wall. No mark. But I didn't tell them that. Yeah, understand. So, you see, in, in this kind of business, when I say business, I mean the work of the Lord. Yeah. Yes, sir. You can't guess. That's true. If you ask me how are you doing it, I, do, I can't tell you. I can't say this is, this is a prescribed way. There's no prescribed. It has to do with the leading of the Spirit yes, of yes, God. Amen. And I, when I prayed in that house, I didn't see an angel. He just, I just only heard the voice of the Lord that says, enter this room. This is where their problem is really coming from. Mm -hmm. There was one recently I went to pray in the house. It was the living room. The Lord said, don't worry about the other rooms. This is where the problem is. I said, why? He said, because of the photograph. See, that photo, as long as this photograph is in the living room, this is where the problem is. Mm -hmm. So, it all depends on how the Holy Spirit. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Oh. What is the next one? Palmistry, you said. Palmistry. Okay, the other one, Uncle. Natal, natal astrology. Natal astrology or natal astrology. And this is the one we've been looking at. Yes. yes. Okay, so let's, let's engage this one. And what do we say natal astrology is? It's a snapshot of the sky, yes, sir. of the time, and um, place where one was born. Okay. And we said the snapshot of the sky changes every one to two hours all over the world. And we said you have the primer. Primer triad. Primer triad. P R I M E L triad. T R I A E D. The primer triad we said is a is a triangle yes, with the sun sign, the moon sign, yes, uh, and the ascended or or rising sign. The sun sign we said has to do with what? Personality. The personality. Self image. Ego and all of that. And then the moon sign has to do with what? Emotions. Moods. Hearts. Persons, that's where the person's happiness yeah. and fulfillment yeah. lies. Yeah. And we said many people appeal more to the moon sign yes. than the sun sign. Yeah. And we said the rising sign has to do with what? The mask. The mask yeah. A person wears. Yeah. Which has to do with what? First impressions. impressions. First impressions. Yes, sir. See, like the place you are going now, your impression is very important. And that your first impression can make people be drawn to you. Yes. Or can make people repair from you. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we say primarily this is where what? Favor lies. Now, all these signs that we're talking about are all what? Under what you call? Prime the primal triad. Nope. The, astro the astrology signs. Remember the zodiac signs, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No yes, astrology signs, zodiac, the zodiac signs. Right? Yes, sir. The zodiac sign. So when we say the sun sign, you are looking at what? The day and the season yes, you were born. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like for me, I was born on February. Yes, sir. So that's what? My sun sign. Yes, sir. 
but my emotional sign can be another sign in the zo another zodiac sign yes, and then of course the rising sign is another word zodiac sign okay and how many signs do you have in the zodiac 12 12, 12. You remember all those zodiac signs now? Yeah. Aries, yeah. all those. Libra, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Pisces, and all that. Okay. And then we said, um, let's, let's make sense of the yes. primal triad. Yes, sir. And we said, in making sense of it, you can say what? I, I am, am like for me now, I am an or. I am a dash 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 yes, sir. with the soul, soul of dash dash dash. This is the moon sign. Yes, this is the sun sign. Yes, sir. Wearing the mask, the mask of dash dash dash. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's give you an example. For example, I can say um, I am an Aquarius, right? Yes, yes, because I was born in February. Yes. With the soul of a Leo. Yes. Leo, people are, who want attention and all that. I'm not that kind of person, really. <laughs> yeah, listen, but let's just suppose that's who I am emotionally. With the mask of what? Maybe, maybe it's Sagittarius or something. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So I hope you understand that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so what was the next thing we told you again? No, 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 no. We'll finish that on Jesus. Okay, so let's look at the components of the bed chart. That was what I was expecting you to say. Uh, this is all what bed charts now, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please answer me yes, now. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When we talked about Jesus, we were just using that as an example to talk about that uh, the whole essence for Jesus' own is that there are a lot of details concerning Jesus, his birth and his destiny yes, sir. that are in the hands of astrologists, mm. yes, sir. astrologers, that many ministers of God don't know. There are certain information that they have about Jesus that is very accurate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Through yes. the true natal astrology. Yes, sir. Yes, Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that's the only reason why we made reference to that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so now we're looking at the natal astrology itself, yes, yes, which is yes, what we've yes. been discussing. Yes, okay, so you are looking at what components, components of the birth chart. chart. Components of the birth chart. Oh, yeah, it's a chart actually, birth chart. The first thing you need to know. In the birth chart is the astrology sign sorry I say astrology sync astrology sign and we have 12 astrology signs yes. there are 12. And then the next one, and you know what the astrology signs are, right? Yes. yes, sir. yes sir. This has to do with what? Personality. 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 Like for me now, I was born in February. Yes. yes sir. Right? Aquarius. Yes, sir. That's my personality. Yes. yes By what they say. Yes, sir. For instance. So, how many astrology signs do we have? Twelve. Wow. Then the next component you need to know is the planets. Yes. And under the planets here, you are looking at, here, you are looking at the moon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Which is, the, which is what? A sign. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
But under the planets in, astro in natal astrology, there are 10 planets. Listen carefully. There are 10 planets plus sun and moon. Yes, sir. And yes. so that makes it what? 12. 12. So, because they are all celestial bodies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so we have what? 10 yes, astrology yes, signs. Yes, Please answer me yes, now. 12 astrology yes, signs. Please answer me. 12, 12 astrology signs. Astrology signs. Yes, sir. 12 planets. Yes. Right? Yes, sir. Because there are how many planets? 10 yes, planets yes, plus 2 yes, plus the sun and moon. Yes, and they are all celestial bodies. Yes, right? Yes. And then you also have the you also have now houses. Yes. Yes, And how many houses do we have? 12 wow. houses. Now, under the planets here, you are dealing with what? Emotions. Emotions. You are dealing with emotions. Actually, you are dealing with, um, yeah, 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 mental functions. Right? Mind or mental functions. Mind and mental functions, sorry. I say emotions. But it's still under emotions, actually. But let's just, that's, it's it's mind and mental function. This is actually what it is. So, the the astrology sign has to do with what personality. 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 Please answer me now. Yes, right? yes, the twelve planets. The planets have to do with what mind, mind and, and mental and functions. And then, how many houses do we have? Wow. Twelve houses. And the houses here addresses area of life. Yes. And so with this now, you, you begin to understand uh, uh, you need to work on in your, in your life true. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. to be the best yes, sir. Yes, sir. personality you can ever yes, be. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, you already know this is what, like for me now, ast um, my ast astrology sign is Aquarius. Aquarius. Yes, sir. But among my planets, I need to know where my mind and my mental function needs to be improved. Oh, wow. yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Now, there's a reason why this is so. Because as we study now, you get to see that if I have more planets fall on certain area of my life, mm -hmm. then it means that I am very, very, I have a better capabilities. Yes, sir. Which improves my personality in, in the area of my mind, and mental function. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When it comes to my mind and mental function, these aspects of the planets, which are also zodiac signs. Yes. Yes, so sir. it could be now, I'm an Aquarius, no doubt. But my planets, which has to do with my mental and my mind and <laughs> mental <laughs> function, <laughs> is in the area of Leo. Yes, wow. sir. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. <laughs> and, and this is very, very important. This is very, very important because it does show you the area where you are strong and then also the areas where you are very weak yes, because where you have less planets yes, that's where your weaknesses yes, are yes which is why now this now your mind and mental functions now is what determines your aggression wow. yes, sir. Yes, sir. where you are likely to be aggressive which area of your life you are likely to be aggressive because here you are looking at your communication skills. When it comes to your planet here, yes. we're looking at your communication skills because here, your mind and mental function will tell us whether you'll be able to articulate mm -hmm. very well and communicate better and all that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and this will also, we, even with this, in advanced analysis of natal astrology, you, are, you, are, you can even tell which month of the year or which months yes, of sir. the year mm -hmm. 
don't favor you. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can t you can tell which months of the year are not are not are not favorable to you. And if you will ask me that, okay, I have discovered that the months of this, this, this are usually the months where I'm most challenged in my life, yeah, then that, that could be a period where to even engage in probably fasting and prayer. No. Oh. Or take a time off and, and be more engaged yes, in refreshing your mind with messages. You can't tell. Yeah. It's true. But anyway, that's in the era of advanced natal astrology. Yes. And that's why a woman cannot tell. The mo when she's pregnant and she's told, this is the month she's going to deliver. And it looks like that month will fall within the corridors of the months where she's going to be challenged mm. then she she can prepare to know what to do about it mm. because you see many women today who died during pregnancy or while delivering didn't have to die if they knew their way out wow. because if he, if he fell in the months where they were less favored where they had less planets then they could have been able to Strengthen themselves yes, spiritually, yes, yes, yes. not to avoid the pregnancy because the thing is sure to come yes, yes, if it falls. Yes, but it helps them prepare. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then whoever is responsible for the pregnancy, either a husband or whoever, is that one now can become more spiritually engaged. It could be that where the person is less. I, I, let's say a pregnant woman is weak within a particular period yeah. of months because mm -hmm. she has less planets there. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And at that point, um, she will need support. Someone who is favored, who has more planets within those periods, yes, sir. who is connected to her, yes, it could be a husband yes, sir. or it could be a sister, yes. mm -hmm. but close to her. That one now can be the reason why she can make it through. Wow. wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You yes, didn't sir. get what I was saying. I don't know whether you're getting yes, what I was saying. So sometimes there could be a sense where somebody can be born in February. Mm. And then some, those people who really pat patronize those things can say, okay, fine, because I was born in February, this is the this is the kind of person I can marry and all that. Yes, There's yes. still a reason for yes. that. Yes, yes, yes. There's yes. a reason yes. for that because where one has less uh, planets yes, is the area where they are less, yes, the, the, it, 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 where they are weak. Mm -hmm. And so such a person, by, by astrological, by... Uh, advanced advanced natal astrology. Uh, yes, uh, by that's in the area of pregnancy and childbirth. Yes. But in, in the, the reason why those people actually go by zodiac signs to know who is fit for them to marry is just because they know this person he will be strong in the area where I'll be weak. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So aligning with this person now can strengthen yes. me. Yes. When I'm in weak, when I'm weak oh, around that. Yeah, oh. in the areas where. In a sense, the person's planets yes. are less. That means weak. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes, that yes, person yes, now can the presence of that person yes. can be the reason why that woman is covered. Yes, wow. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. But yes, sir. if it's, if 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 it now happens where the man and the wife are now weak together, yes. Yes. there's likely to be a tragedy. Yes, sir. Wow. So. Those people, that's why even in ancient times, yes, they didn't marry on the grounds of love. Yes, yes, sir, yes sir. They understand. Ah, yes, they didn't yes, marry on the grounds of love. Even though love did play a role, they had to marry on the grounds of the signs. Mm -hmm. And sometimes those who married on the grounds of love had to, those who, who 
irrespective of the fact that the zodiac signs did not favor them, but they were madly in love, what they had to do to see how they can shift, tilt the steering of the wheel was to choose a particular area of their strength to marry. Yes, sir, yes, sir. You didn't get it. Yes, okay, sir. fine. So, this man and this woman, yes, they both have weakness in, according to their zodiac signs. Yes, sir. Yes, which sir, means yes, that, sir, yes, sir. given what has been analyzed, they are not even supposed to yes, match yes, to marry. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Because yes, even when one is weak, the other is weak. Yes, yes. Do you understand? Yes, but they are madly in love. Yes, sir. And they can't do without each other. So, what they can do is they can decide. And uh, one who is an expert in astrology can decide to tell them, okay, marry on so so month instead. Mm. So that they can pick a particular zodiac month. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me talk to you. These ones are tired. Yes, sir. So they can pick a particular month. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that that month, mm -hmm. the benefits of that month yes. can cover that weakness. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Wow. So, they can say, okay, fine. We plan our wedding in June and August. Between June, July, August. Yes. That's the summer time. Yes. And all that. And an expert can say, give me your zodiac signs. Yeah. Mm. Marry in December. Ah. That's about it. It will be cold. You say, ah, sister. Is it not better it is cold? Yes. Than both of you to be in the freezers. Jesus. Wow. Yes, sir. Because even though it is a big wedding in the summertime, there's likely going to be a tragedy, tragedy. Yes. very soon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is why we tell people sometimes you don't pick the day you marry. Mm -hmm. Ask your pastor. Mm -hmm. Even if your pastor picks any day, the grace upon his life can yes. be the reason why both of you are yes. saved. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because yes. prophets are signs. Yes. They are part of the zodiac. Yes. Wow. They are zodiacs themselves. Yes. That's another aspect in ministry. So, when people say life is complex, when you ask them why do you say life is complex, they just, they just, to them it's just a cliche. They just say it. Yes, sir. But there are those of us in the area of metaphysics when we tell you life is complex, we know what we're telling you. Yes, sir, yes, sir, like yes, what we just told you yes, now. Sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. And parents who try to see how they can manipulate the birth of their children to fall on a certain day so that without any spiritual guidance. So that the thing can just favor maybe a generation of birthdays to say, I was born on, on the first, yeah. my first one was born on the second yeah. of the same month, third, yeah. this and that. Mm -hmm. You don't yeah. know what you are causing. Mm -hmm. Because by doing that, you are shifting Jesus. what is probably wow. never supposed to be. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because even when you were choosing that day, you did not consider the weakness that will come. The, the, the astra, the zodiac sign, the planets that will bring the weakness. Yes, yes, yes. What will be less in their lives. But anyway, I hope you get that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so, house has to do with area of your yes, life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, now, and this house is also a zodiac sign, but this time around, you need, when we're dealing with area of life, we're, we're looking at areas of your life where you are aggressive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are looking at areas of your life. So if, 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 if your planets fall more, if your signs, sorry, the zodiac signs fall more in any house, let, let, let's, let, 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 and the houses can mean mm, marriage. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Area of life. Yes. Sir. yes. Mm -hmm. So you have house of marriage, house of, house of, personality, house of career, house of friends, and, and even house of trouble. You can tell. 
where you are likely to have troubles in your life. You see, we just told you that. Yes, sir, yes, sir. That's what I was saying. Yes, and if it's if it's going to be in the area of marriage, mm -hmm. then you can say, Ah, Susanna, I love you, but we will have problems in marriage. Mm -hmm. And this is the area because of the zodiac signs. You can tell where the person is likely to have problems. So you see, natal astrology is more is very huge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Beyond yes, sir. our will, you saw the yes. zodiac sign. Yes. All this thing we're explaining is yes, still sir. within the zodiac. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. It's yes, all in the zodiac. Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. yes, sir. yes sir. You see why we even have to pause on that lesson. Yes, mm -hmm. the host of heaven. The host of heaven. Yes. yes, sir. So that we can break this down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you, do you understand how we've experienced yes, 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 sir. Because this thing also determines the colors you attract in your life. Yes, sir. And don't just think you just like red because it's red. Right. It's not a mistake. Signs are plain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so with the area, with this house sign, mm -hmm. you are able to know what is likely going to cause your debt. Wow. And you can choose to avoid it yes. by how you see because because you see let, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Those who died on a particular day, yes, sir. except by the mercies of God, there was no way they were going to escape that day Jesus. because all the signs are lying yes, and they are all pushing. Yes, it's a force. Except God by His mercies shifts it. Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. yes, sir. yes sir. Nothing can stop it. Oh. If you if, if we analyze Jesus' life, mm -hmm. you get to see there was no way Jesus could have shifted his death day. There was no way. Yes. He even prayed and God kept quiet. Mm -hmm. He even prayed, it was ignored. Because all the signs are aligned. You just have to down the Passover mm -hmm. period. You it, it just has to be. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And this is the reason why many Christians call him the Passover lamb. He wasn't yeah. a Passover lamb, but it, the signs all aligned. He had to die at that period. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus had to die during the period when the nation was mourning. Yes. Mm -hmm. They've been doing it every year since they left Egypt. Mm -hmm. But God didn't make sure Jesus did not die. And all the zodiac signs the sun, the moon, and the ascended yes, signs of yes, Jesus. Yes. Yes, the astrology signs, yes. the planets and the house, yes, yes, areas of life, all aligned Aye. that this guy has yes. to die within the period when the nation is mourning. Yes, sir. Not to mourn for him. No, no, no. Yes, but sir. he had to die during the period of the when they were celebrating the Passover, which was a period of mourning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Because the Passover celebration was to was to observe a holy convocation mm -hmm. for the death of all the firstborns in Egypt. Don't forget, God created everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so the Jews had to carry that burden of mourning for the Egyptians, Hi. who were once good to them, mm -hmm. even though they enslaved them. The Egyptians were once a blessing to them through Joseph. Yes. And so yes. the very fact that their firstborns were slaughtered. God told the children of Israel they have to carry that body in every year to mourn. Mm. Wow. And Jesus now came as a firstborn. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So when they say Jesus is the Passover lamb, it was not for Israel. Jesus was a Passover lamb for the Egyptians. Oh. Wow. But we can't preach that in church because pastors will fight you. But today they see is Egypt as an Arab nation. Yes. Condemned. Yes. But they don't know that the death of Jesus. The death of Jesus, the very fact that Jesus is even addressed as a Passover lamb and is the firstborn from the house of Judah, then Jesus is the sacrifice as a payment for the yes. Egyptians. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's a so the death of Jesus is a proof that Egypt is on God's mind. Oh. And that is why it was no mistake that Jesus' brother, King Solomon, had to marry an Egyptian. Egyptian. That was his first wife. Yes. Everything aligned yes. the stars yes. you see when we tell you these things yes, sir. Yes, we're trying sir. to see with all that we're showing you now you can see many forces 
many factors that could have been playing against you or for you that you don't have an idea of. And so now, Christianity, therefore, has one primary objective. That irrespective of the signs playing, yes. you can control the circumstance. Yes. 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 So when we say God wants you to be a master uh, over circumstance, yes. this is what we're talking about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because you don't know what is playing, yes, sir. Yes, sir. either for you or against you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen, many people are tempted to be given visa to come to America many times. They were not given until they were finally given. For me, it was one attempt. Wow. And it was less than five minutes. Mm -hmm. Why? All the signs already aligned. I recall yes. my pastor told me that yes. day, that period. He says, if you don't go to America now, you will never make it again in destiny. Mm -hmm. This is the window, and it is closing. Mm -hmm. I got my visa, and I was still staying. I still stayed for about two months. He says, you better start going to America now. The window is closing. And I didn't know what it meant then. Mm. But he was my pastor. Why? Spiritually, he has already seen. Yes. This guy has to leave now. Otherwise, yes. if that thing closes, it's over. So, which means, when I look at the life of my biological father, leaving the... He was to travel to the UK to go and study civil engineering. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And the person sponsoring him died the night before he, he was to travel. Yes. And he never traveled again. Which means that he ought to have traveled a long oh, time. Wow. And the last... Close, the last opening for him to go to the UK was the day before he was to pl he was planning to go the next day the last closing was the day the helper of his destiny died and he never traveled again the next time my father came to the airport was when I was leaving for America the last time he had been to an airport before I took him to the airport was far back in the 60s the same airport Muritala Mohammed Airport this very same airport he was to travel to and that is why what has really been your when they say procrastination is the thief of time yes, there are a lot of natural astrological analysis behind that statement mm. this is it so when you keep procrastinating you are delaying yourself you are the one wasting your time mm. you are the one wasting your time what are you still planning when the door is already closing Can you are still planning and you have some people today they are planning against a closed door all the while the door was open they never did anything they were planning planning till the door closed they are still planning and so when they attempt now there's a blockade that's why there's no such thing as right time there's no such thing as right time when you have an opportunity now do it don't say you're waiting for the right time because the day you think is the right time was the was the was the closed door it was the day the door closed, or the night before. Remember the disciples, when they decided they were going to pray, yes. Jesus told them it was it's too late. Too late. Mm -hmm. They had three hours to gain access into the ears of God. Mm -hmm. Jesus gave them three access to have the ears of God. He said, pray with me. Mm -hmm. These men had an opportunity for the first time in their lives to talk to the Lord directly mm -hmm. within three hours. It was after the three hours they now decided they were going to pray. Jesus said, it's too late. Mm -hmm. you, it's better you wait for the Holy Spirit to come. Mm -hmm. But what privilege would it have been to be like Jesus for the first time in three hours? Mm -hmm. To pray from the earth and directly have access to the ears of God. Mm -hmm. That was the privilege Jesus had. Jesus granted them. But they were sleeping. Jesus. Okay. Now, let's show you something. So, so in, in a nutshell here, um, let, let's make sense of it. The planets, like we said, they tell you what? The what? Yes. The what? Yes. The mental function, communication, your aggression. Which area of your life are you aggressive? Which area of your life are you less aggressive? Which of the signs? Yes. You understand? You are able to know that. And then... The astrology sign has to do with the personality. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. And where it lands in the zodiac sign tells you how and why you, you think the way you think. Mm. So when we say the astrology sign has to do with your personality, yes, sir. there's a reason that makes you have a particular personality. Yes. Mm. The why 
and how you think yes is the reason why you have this kind of personality naturally and i later discovered it's an aquarius sign mm. i'm very i'm very very independent mm. naturally wow. and it's an aquarius sign yes, sir. very independent and then secondly i don't care what people think about me mm. it's part of the aquarius sign mm. i was born in february yes, sir. so if i'm to go i don't live by those things but if i'm to go by those things you can understand why i have the personality that i have that's why i can talk about sex and i don't care yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Others, others cannot do it. Mm. They don't have that personality. I have the personality that I don't care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you should care yeah. for your own. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. And I'm very independent to the glory of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. If you say you are born, uh, you are a Leo, you are a king, that can be a big challenge. Right. Wow. Because people who are born uh, in Leo, they have the personality of seeking attention. They want to be given attention. Sure. And it makes them, they are so dependent on people giving them attention. They yeah, want yeah. to be heard. They want to be loved. So eagerly to be loved. Yes, sir. Lord, and that can be your undoing. Okay, so you understand that now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right? Yes, sir. And so the house, this tells you what? The area of life where this thing is happening. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where your aggressions, where your mental function, yes, sir. your mind is operating from. It can tell you the area. Ah, this person is very proficient when it comes to her job, but in marriage is a complete mess. Okay. Hey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And there's a zodiac sign that is responsible for that. You understand? Yes, so you may be born in February, but you can be behaving like somebody. You can have the mind of someone in August. Yes, sir. Born in August. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. What is August, sir? Leo. Leo is August, yeah? yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, you are Leo? Yeah, but. Uh, <laughs> no, I just He's happy. happy. <laughs> so you and your wife, you are Leo? We're both personality sign Virgo, but emotional. I don't know about her actually. Uh oh. No, you have the same. That's why you guys can't see each other's. I say that respectfully. You may not be able to see each other's thoughts. For sure. You understand? Because by that I mean you might be saying this is your fault. Meanwhile, what you are actually calling now for is your own fault. Yeah, yes, sir, all the time. And so that means both of you have the same. Yes, sir. So, and you have to look at which area of life where that thing is a problem. Yes, sir. Yeah. And that tells you something that both of you are born on the same period. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, going by natal astrology, it may not be too healthy for those kind of people to be a couple, really. Mm -hmm. You may just need a third party mm -hmm. whose strength can be of covering. And that's why with this time, you can even know the kind of people you should never fight in your life. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. yes, sir. Can never fight in your life. Okay. Okay. And so, you, 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 all we'll just say is that you just have to know how the planets and the science work together. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, so now let, let's look at the shape of the bed chart. Have you been blessed so far? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll introduce this and then probably take your questions and then dismiss. Now, next class, we'll continue more with that. It's a circle. The bed chart is a circle.
with like a cross. Do you understand? Yes, sir. In between. I use the word cross, but in natal astrology, they say horizontal and vertical lines. Wow. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, this is what? Horizontal, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. And this is what? The vertical lines. Now, in this circle, right? Yes, in this chart, yes, which one is up, which one is down? This side, all this side is up, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please answer, right? Yes, sir. Why all this side is what? Down. Is down. Yes, sir. We're just trying to simplify it for you, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so these two, this upper, this upper part has two sides, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please answer now. Yes, sir. How many sides does he have? One, two, one side. Two sides. How many sides? Two sides. Two sides. Please answer me now. Then the lower part has how many sides? Two sides. Two sides. Okay, now. If you have, therefore, more planets on either of these sides, which is the upper side. Yes, sir. If you have more planets on either of these sides, yes, sir. it just means that everything about your life is objective. Or you call it objectivity. And then, of course, if you have more planets at the lower side, it just means that everything about you is what? Subjective. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, when it's objective, it just means that uh, your learning and your growth will be on a public scale. Mm. On a yes, public sir. stage. It means that primarily many things about your life will be your learning process in life will be public. Public. Because you have more planets on the upper hemisphere. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because this is this is not. This is yes, sad. Okay. And of course, if you have more planets at the lower part of the chart, it means that everything about your life is what? Subjective. 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 Which means that your learning and your growth process is private. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. through the zodiac signs, where these things, that's what I mean by planets, where they fall, yes. it means that what? You can have more you have trainings in a public platform. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Or you have trainings more, private. In, more private. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, this side now, right? Yes, sir. From here to here. Right? Yes, sir. Either up or down. This yes, side sir. is what? Is what? Is right. Yes. yes sir. Please answer yes, now. Yes, 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 Why this side from here to here? Is left. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Is left. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so now if you have the if you have more planets falling on the right side either in the upper hemisphere or the lower hemisphere but towards the right yes, yes sir, sir. Yes, right yes, sir. Yes, sir. it means that everything about your life is based on fit f-a-t-e -E. wow. which wow. means it has been what predetermined yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. do you understand yes sir. yes sir yes sir so the zodiac signs that will fall in this area on the right side that you read about is what your life has been destined to be. You yes. can't change it. Yes, sir. Oh yes, sir. Gosh. But if it falls on the Left. right, sorry, if it falls on the left side, mm -hmm. right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Either yes, sir. up, in, either in the upper hemisphere or the lower hemisphere, mm -hmm. it means freedom. Wow. 
which means you have a clean slate. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can choose what you want your life to be. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can decide. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But then again, even though your life is unfit here on the right side, it doesn't mean that there's still no room for flexibility. It's just that those things that will surely be will still be. Yes, you sir. see why we said there was no way. If someone has been fitted to die on a particular period and the month, the person can know the month when they are going to die. Yeah, sure. They can know. And even if they try to, they can't shift it. Particularly if they are planets. Through all these things, yes, you are able to know all these things through what? Through the snapshot the of the sky. So they can tell this person will die. This person is going to die in August. Hey, mm. And they can say towards the end of August. They may not be able to tell you the exact year, mm. but they can tell you the exact month. Mm. Wow. But they can still tell you how many years. Mm. It depends. It depends. You can still tell. Today, people get to know how long they still have to live when they, are, when they have a terminal ailment and the doctor says yes. six months and all that. Yes. Mm -hmm. That thing was not a mistake. The doctor only got to know when you came to the hospital. But those practitioners of natal astrology already knew this person is going to die on so month. And let's suppose you knew the month you were going to die and you are trying to shift it that, okay, it will not happen. We can beat this thing and all that. And you say, okay, fine, you decide you're not going to go out that day. Mm -hmm. And the person was supposed to die by going out. Yes. It could be that, and the person said, no, I can beat this thing by not going out. If I go out, then how will the person die? You'll be a miss. Mm -hmm. That's when the person you love the most is in danger outside. Kai! Oh. And only you can help the person. Mm. Oh my God. And you love the person so much, you don't want anything to harm the person. Kai. That's when you find yourself running out oh, to wow. go and help the person. And by the time you get there, you discover the person is even fine. But you're already outside. Oh, At that point, the thing happens. Yes, sir. That's how we say only the mercy of Can God. You see, we're teaching you these things because yes, there are many words we use, many things we say in church true, that people don't understand. They take for granted. You see this thing will come mercy of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. People don't understand it. They don't really understand it. But when you understand certain aspects of metaphysics, you will appreciate the mercy of God. So when, when the prophet said it is by his mercies we are not consumed, he knows what he's talking about. Okay. In our next class, we'll talk about the lunar notes. L U N A R, lunar notes. And there are two lunar notes. You have the north node and then the south node. How many of you have seen this sign before? Like. Then when it is down like that, like a cough, this is the south. When it is up, this is not. But the south don't usually appear yes. in the in the bed in many bed charts. Mm. Let me just give you the lunar notes. The lunar notes just simply means, well, when you look at the lunar notes, it just tells you that the south, if you have more planets falling on the south, on your lunar nodes, it just means that the south nodes just simply means your past. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Your past. Yes, sir. Your, where you came from, where you are coming from. Mm -hmm. You know, it has to do with 
the past actually, mm -hmm. primarily. You understand? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. The South Node talks about your instincts, your your behavior. Your South Node simply means who you are naturally, your comfort zone, yeah. where you are coming from. Why your North Node speaks of your future, wow. where you should be aiming at, where you should yes, be looking sir. towards, yes. where you should be going. Yes. Usually, the sad nose don't really reflect on the bed chart because you already know where you're coming from. Yes. Yes. But the not node is really the focus. So everything about the bed chart is aimed at the not node. Yes, you, are ju you just want to know where you are really going in life. Yes. This is, this, the not node tells you where you'll be heading in life mm. or what you should be focusing on. Areas where you should start improving yourself. Yeah. That's just all about. Uh, but they are 180 degrees apart. They ah. are the complete opposites. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the north node can be here. The south node is here. They are 80 degrees apart. And the reason why they are 80 degrees apart is to just let you know where you are coming from and where you should be going to. Yes, sir. Of course. Yes, sir. You don't expect yourself to be going back to your past. No. no That's why it's 80 degrees apart. So, yeah. 180 degrees apart, I mean. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, so, the North Node shows you where you should grow into. Yes. The area yes. of your life yes. you should grow into. Yes, sir. And That's why there's a way, when you understand these things, you can look at certain old pictures and look at the new pictures. And you can even see the difference. Yes. You can tell, ah, I used to behave this way. Look at President Barack Obama. He used to smoke weed, he used to do those things, but he ended up a president. Yes. This will tell you everything about his natal astrological birth chart yes. led him to one place, yes. to the North Node, which was the White House. That was why he never lost any election. There was no way he could lose any election. All the signs favored him to yes. win. So, which means with this understanding, you can tell where you should never fail in. Mm. Right. That guy is just a phenomenon. Yes. A phenomenon, Honestly. sorry. Honestly. President Barack Obama. Honestly. How did he know when to contest? Yes. How did he know? And he never lost. He never yes. lost. Unlike others who were always contesting at the wrong time. Not that they are not good candidates, but they were always contesting in a month, in a zodiac sign that was not in their favor. Yes. That's why we say again, you have to look at the house. Yes. Uh, yes, sir. yes sir. I don't yes. know now. Did, did we answer your question? Yes. Uh? Yes, sir. Did you understand everything we said? Yes. So that's all. That's all in a nutshell about the, the Nita astrology. It's a form of divination. Now you can see with this working that the divination is very accurate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you can do it for yourself. That's the amazing thing. But, but we're not telling you to go and do it for yourself. Be a Christian. Live the life of yes, Christianity. Yes. So that's all about natal astrology in the notion. So we finished that. It's a form of divination. It's a form of divination. You understand? Yes, sir. And so with this understanding, now you can see why some people, they don't, they don't need prophets. They can tell you they don't yes, need sir. a prophet. I see that. I'm the prophet of my own life. Literally. They'll tell you, I know what to do. I know where I'm missing it. They'll tell you, there are some people who can tell you, I know where I'm missing it. I know, I'm, I know the area where I need to make adjustment. They'll tell you honestly. And they are not wrong. Okay, so any question? All right then. Okay. Since there's no question, I'm glad then. All right, now next class we'll, we'll study more. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right then. Talk to the Lord. We're we'll dismissed then.
Praise I your majesty. Yeah. Every day, your praise will come from me. For your faithfulness was me.